Hey everyone, um, today is a month and a half on T, um, or I guess it would be six weeks, Not as, I don't know, whatever, it's, I mean, it, it's weird with me because I started at 2 a.m., um, on the 12th, so, I don't know, um, I'm making this video because I wanted to talk about um, what happened last night. So, last night I met, um, a couple guys, uh, for the first time. I met Drew and Noah and Drew's girlfriend, Jess. Um, they came down, uh, Drew and Jess came down from Massachusetts. Um, and we all went to Orlando to, um, Noah's friend's house and um we were all hanging out and whatever and just like um they're trans too and I didn't even know like it, first of all I spent pretty much um a good portion of the evening trying to figure out who was trans and who wasn't like I mean and it wasn't because like oh it was important to me or anything like that it was more um, I was kind of on my own little self experiment trying to figure out how, how really passable, um, guys can be, trans guys can be, um, as they progress and transition. Um, just so I kind of have that, I mean, like, I've seen plenty of videos and everything, and I've been talking to guys online and everything, but, um, I haven't been able to see very many guys you know, that are later in transition, and, um, Noah told me that his friend was trans, and we went to the house, and, um, like, I couldn't figure out which one was trans, like, they all looked so male and acted so bio-male, like, so, like, just, I mean, one of them had more fucking facial hair than any guy I'd seen, I mean, like, most guys that you see that are our age, um, and I mean, they all had very deep voices, and just very masculine, um, like, I could not figure out which one of them was, I didn't think any of them were trans, like, I'm like, I, I could not figure it out for the life of me, um, and that made me feel really good, um, in a sense, it made me feel actually fucking awesome, because it's like, just even more of a reassurance that, um, I'm not going to look like a quote-unquote freak like my mom says I am, which, I mean, I knew that wouldn't be the case, but I just, I, I really wanted to see how passable trans guys really are in person, and, I mean, actually, one of them took off his shirt, and it took me, you know, probably three or four hours um, of us just hanging out and whatever, and I couldn't figure out if he was trans or not, and then he took off his shirt, and... I was literally looking at his chest carefully and everything, and he didn't have any scars on his chest at all. Um, I mean, like, and I was, and it looked like maybe he was just a small-chested guy and had the, the, uh, what is it called, pinhole? I don't even know what it is, because I obviously am not small-chested, so I don't even know what that procedure is, but, um, and I was like, well, maybe he had that procedure where it's just, like, the liposuction or whatever, um, and then, all of a sudden, like, I spot, like, a spot where, like, a, a little circle scar on the side where a drain would have been. And I'm like, oh, shit, he's fucking trans. I'm like, I had no idea. He was the most masculine one there. Like, I had no idea that he was trans. Like, I could not figure out any of them. And then, we leave, and I find out they all are. And I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, I could not tell at all. Um, so that was really, really, really reassuring for me to know that, um, that, that I'm going to be able to pass that well, like, eventually, you know, like, the testosterone really does do all of those changes, like, it's just, I mean, like, I've seen it all on YouTube, and I've, I've researched it on the internet and everything like that, but I've never seen, I mean, like, I've only seen a couple of trans guys in person, and, to, to see these guys last night and, and really see, and, and Drew as well, like, I mean, they all passed, so, like, I, 
there was not a, I, I could not, no, I did not see an ounce of any kind, any kind of femininity in them at all, like, n nothing, apps, nothing, I mean, like, it tripped me out, I could not, I, it blew my mind when I was told at the end of the night that they were all trans, like, I had no idea, um, but at the same time, them passing so well and them being so male around me and having been transitioning for so long and here I am only a month and a half on T um it just did really 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 sucked um in that sense like <sighs> it was really hard for me to I mean I I felt so much more, or so much less masculine than everybody else there except for Jess that I kind of like stayed around Jess because I just felt so much less masculine than the other guys. Like it was almost like, for a while there it was almost like a nightmare. Like I felt like I wasn't man enough, you know, to be around the guys and it just kind of really sucked in certain parts of it, and I don't know. Um, it could also have to do with the huge fact that um, I'm starting to have depression like I do when I am getting ready to start my cycle, whatever. Um, and I like I I haven't had a shot in two weeks, and I'm not gonna be able to get one until Monday night. Um, so I think that also has. I I mean I'm kind of scared that my period is gonna come back. Um, and that I'm PMSing really bad right now, and that fucking sucks. God, it sucks so bad. Like I hate being like this. Um, I don't know. Like, it just sucks. So, um, I don't really know where I was getting at with this, but I really, I was going to make this video last night, but it was 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning when I got home, and I wasn't going to make a video, you know, in the middle of the night and wake up my roommates, so, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this video, but I feel really, 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 like, depressed. Um, also, today is my son Dominic's birthday. He's five years old today, and they live an hour north, and for whatever reason that Angela came up with, which I have to understand and I have to accept, um, I'm not there today. And it's because she said that it's too short of notice to spring it on the kids that um, that I'm coming. And I they haven't seen me in over a year or whatever. And I'm like, but seriously, Dominic would be so excited. It would not be like a shock for him or anything like that. He would be so excited to have me there. And I can guarantee that. And same with the other kids. They, you know, Ethan and Kaylin, they would, Kaylin is only a year old. She would not know the difference. And Ethan, I think, would be really excited to see me, too. Ethan might have a, a couple of issues, um, I guess maybe around abandonment and stuff like that, and all of a sudden I'm back, but, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really depressed because I missed Dominic's birthday last year, I missed Ethan's birthday last year, I missed Kayla's birthday this year, I missed Angela's birthday two days ago, and now... Um, here I am missing Dominic's birthday. It just sucks. So today's a really shitty day for me. And I just wanted to talk about it. Um, there's somebody I really, really, really want to talk to right now, but she can't talk. So kind of bummed out about that. But, um, hopefully she'll get online soon and we can chat. So, all right. I guess that's it, guys. Um, it's the 23rd of August, 
And this is my month and a half update on tea and just bullshit masculinity issues. Later.